We are under the lights this evening as we and get now, you set for another edition of Baseball on morning. the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Washington Nationals and the Texas Rangers. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the one and one pitch. Ball. Two balls, one strike. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Called a strike and it's full of three and two. Game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Popped him up. Torinos over to his right. One away. Adam Eaton digging in next. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's got a three for seven line. He also has one home run. That misses and we're even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That is third. So the bases second. are empty here with two Howie. gone and stepping in is the second baseman Howie Kendrick. Outside and low that time now it's two balls and two strikes. Hey that's a nice take by the batter right there but that's a non competitive off speed pitch got to do better to at least entice a swing. Kendrick waiting now the pitch. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a two out single. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. The throw into second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Five, four. The left field, number 22. One. To the plate now. One Soto. Line towards center field. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Sanchez has finished off more than 1900 career innings during his time in the big leagues and has an ERA just under four. A respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. Grounded back up the middle. Turner has it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is in his tracks now. Two gone. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball one and two now. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Second inning set to go. Striding in now for the Nats, Eric Thames. Thames behind one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And now for Washington, Kurt Suzuki. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Back 
at the plate, Starlin Castro. Two balls and a strike. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. Waiting on deck is Drubal Cabrera. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Batting it. The third base, number 13. As Drubal. Standing in now as Drubal Cabrera. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Batting up. The first baseman, Ryan. So Zimmerman. now to the plate. Ryan Zimmerman, high in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one and two pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The back here now is back. Trey Turner. Two's all over the place. Play. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Two and one, the count to Trey Turner. Runners at the corners, two men out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He set the 2-2. Softly hit out to short. Little pitch and catch chance for Odor at second base, and that'll do it. Leading off the inning, Joey Gallo, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1-2. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Ball three. Three and two now. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. Eaton patrolling center makes the play one out. So next to the plate for Texas, Danny Santana. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. The 1 1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One out, nobody on. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Settling in now, Shin Su Chu. Will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed. He got him. Riding in once again, Adam Eaton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. He's right there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Here's the Howie Kendrick. The second baseman, Howie Kendrick. The 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air to right field. Chu has a read on it. Two gone.
Juan Soto to the plate now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Ronald Guzman. And they'll need him to get something going here. A two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Pitch popped up. And Kendrick squeezes it for out number two. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Fouled away. The one-two. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the Rangers are in the hit column. Runner at first following the error. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Sanchez pauses. Here's the 1-1. Liner towards second. But well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Now at the plate, Eric Thames. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Pulled toward right center field. Santana is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Count is one and two now. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Andres has a play and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So next for the Nationals is the designated hitter Starlin Castro. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Throw on to Guzman at first and the inning is over. Stepping up now Matt Duffy comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And it's one and two. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. The next 3 2. Takes this the other way to right. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. With that, the Rangers get their leadoff hitter on base after the inning opening base hit. A designated hitter, number five, Willie Calhoun. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. And there's ball two now. A 
all even now, two and two. From the stretch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back four. Joey Gallo waits on deck. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. So stepping in, Joey Gallo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the 2 1 home. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's 3 and 1 now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. So striding in, Danny Santana, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. This is pulled into right. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And to score from third, the tying run. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Up next to the run field, the first baseman, Ronald. Guzman. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now batting. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Rufna Dodor waits on deck. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. So it's bases loaded, one away. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rufna Dodor. 1-1. One, one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. This is lifted out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a four to one ball game. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Leading off the inning as Dribble Cabrera as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ball and two strikes to Cabrera. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Chu has a read on it. One out. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Zimmerman. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Trey Turner, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 
the 2-1. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 ball game. Again, he sends it out of play. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Rowena Salias, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Duffy. He singled his last time up. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. Hit on the ground toward the left. Cabrera's there. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. For the plate now for Texas is the DH. Willie Calhoun, over one with a run scored thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Struck him out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Better fielder. Daddy. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Brett Martin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 59. Brett. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready now. Adam Eaton. He was a ground out victim last time up. 1-1. Oh, one, one. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. And he popped him up. Andres into shallow left. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping into the box, Howie Kendrick. One for two, including a double back in the first. Now the 2-1 pitch. Weekly hit to third. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. Here now is Juan Soto. He lined out his first time around and then went down on strikes last time up. 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Three balls and a strike to the Nationals left fielder. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. The right fielder, number nine. So it's a runner at first Eric. with two men out, and in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. The 3 1. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The three two one more time got him swinging and that will end the inning. Up next for the Rangers Shin Su Chu one for two with a double on the ledger so far. The one one home. 
Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Ronald Guzman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. The pitcher, Robinson. And the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The 2-2 two -two one more time. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Thames is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. At the plate, oh, Luke Nidodor. He hit a sack fly He's earlier. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Three and one. Elvis Andrews would be next. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get them. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Please Jesse Chavez is on to pitch please. from the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. Number 30. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kurt Suzuki. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Outside two and one. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. There's Starlin Castro, he'll follow next. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now batting. Next will be the designated hitter, Starlin Castro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two oh, away the now. The third Into the box now, as Drupal Cabrera. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And the pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. The two two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Ryan Harper gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Elvis Andrews. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind 1 and 2. Here it comes now to Andrews. 
still one and two. Now here it comes. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. Striding into the box, Matt Duffy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1 home. That's Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Two strikes. And he fouls this one off. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. To the plate now is the designated, the designated hitter, hitter, Willie Calhoun. Five. He's 0 for 2 Willie. in the ballgame so far. Calhoun. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. The next one two pitch. And that's going to be high two and two now. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Sent out to straightaway center field. After it is eaten, he gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Nick Goody has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 41. Nick. Ready once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. A 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. fouled away full count three and two you could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming a challenge fastball right here he cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming in there a base hit the bat number seven at the plate, Trey Turner. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. The center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. Called strike, and that'll run it full. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Zimmerman, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. At the plate, Howie Kendrick. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Juan Soto. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. 1 1. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. 
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Back goes Chu at the track. The wall. And as Nationals fans have heard before, see you later. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Cody Allen enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Number 31, Cody. To the plate now, Eric Thames. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. Stepping in now, Kurt Suzuki. Grounded to short. Andrus fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Sean Doolittle is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. On to first. And a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out now the home eight. Better fielder. Ready for Danny. another shot now. Danny Santana. Danny. Four runs, only three hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Here's another 2 2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready for another chance? Shin Su Chu. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Normally, this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left, but he kept his front shoulder square, stayed in that at bat, and absolutely demolished that baseball. Standing in now, Ronald Guzman chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. New inning set to get underway. Here's Starlin Castro. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The one two is taken for ball two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chu has a read on it, one away. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He went down on strikes last time up. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Odor has it. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. So coming to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The one-and-one one pitch. Down the third baseline. 
And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The battle number seven. Good. In now, Play. Trey Turner. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Austin Voss enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. Now in the box, Robinson Chirinos. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1 home. Hit back up the middle. And this is going to get through into center, so there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. Now back, second baseman. Ruger. Into the box now, Rugner Odor. It's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to Zimmerman, and they get them both. Coming to the plate now, Elvis Andrews. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ran it in on him as this is bounced towards short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Luis Garcia takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. In now is Adam Eaton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 home. Pulled toward right center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. And he's going to make it there, barely, as he's into second base with a double. The second base Howie Kendrick. At the plate now, Howie Kendrick. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So a big moment in the ball game here. Juan Soto. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. And with one swing of the bat, they got the lead here in extra innings. That's always the fear, right? You get into extra Wait, innings, Dan, and no, everybody forgets how to play baseball. And we're all just trying to create a home run derby. But that was a heck of a swing to give us team the lead. It sure was. They were. Now they're going to need the pitching staff to buckle down to get through this bottom half of the inning. Big swing of that, but you want to make it pay with the scoreless bottom of this inning. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Fouled off. The next 3-2.
Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. To the plate now, Starlin Castro. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Count is even a two and two to Starlin Castro. Count, two and two. The two two. Ripped on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Will Harris takes the ball looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Digging in once again, Matt Duffy. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work got cut out for him. Now. Now here's the pitch. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, the designated hitter, really. Stepping in now, Willie Calhoun. Nip the corner, two and two. Three and two to the Rangers' designated hitter. Joey Gallo, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Now battle. Here's Joey Gallo now. Joey Gallo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Gallo carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. So a crucial moment here in standing in. Danny Santana, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. The 1-1. One, one. He's in there for strike number two. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Hit back toward the mound. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first. A double play. chance here and stepping in Shinsu Chu although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him Chu with a two ball one strike count here hard hit ball towards the hole and that will get down as he delivers a big one here it's a base hit 
And that's going to bring in the run from third. And just like that, it's back to a one-run ball game. Wonder Suero takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. 3-1. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. The Nats posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Austin Voss earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals eight runs on 11 hits one error they left five men on base for the Rangers seven runs seven hits no errors they left six men on base time of the ball game four hours and nine minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely.